Hey everyone, um, this is Jerry again, and uh, we're gonna do our today's drawing. And uh, since the last uh, video I checked uh, um, uh, after I upload on YouTube, I realized the audio is pretty good, like way better than my first one. So that's good. Let's uh, con keep continue. So today, um, as you can see, I also put my research like mood board over here. mood board okay we call it a mood board uh, I guess I, I learned that from school but I guess the mood board meaning like sometimes we cannot like uh, describe a thing or a feeling by words but uh, we can uh, combine all different kind of photos together to show us the feeling of what we're gonna do uh, what we're gonna deliver uh, at the end of our our, uh, of our design yeah uh, so let's start so today like I said I just uh, cr uh, duplicate this layer name the last one as background uh, backdrop three lock that okay so uh we spend a lot of time on this one uh so today probably i'm go for this one because when you have this one detailed this one detailed this one detailed so you have like a zigzag boom boom right so you have that uh, um how do you call that the focus or the circulation of how uh, how you want the viewer to see and uh, we can put more a lot more time on this and then put a, a little bit less time on the rest over here or here or here um but here maybe pretty close pretty uh i love that part so i just uh, do a little bit more detailed but i still try to be a way like not that uh, detailed as this three and uh, this far away parts um i don't really want to go like too crazy details um because that they're, they're gonna competing with this one so I just uh, maybe in the future I just uh, put more time on here and then uh, just uh, for this one this one just uh, simplify give some indication of what's going on there but because sometimes if you have like a kind of similar stuff together you don't have to draw out everyone um, that's how we call the simplify things um, uh, I mean like there's a saying called uh, less is more so we just uh, spend more time on this one and this and this just go easy people will understand because whenever they, they don't understand what's going on go, what's going on over there especially for the details they can take a look at this one go back.
Oh, another thing I want to uh, uh, talk about is the finish level. Uh, I have, I've been having the same problems uh, a lot uh, uh, back in school because, you know, for school, we have a limited time. Um, sometimes we want to, we want to deliver like a really good drawing, but uh, we have a lot of classes, so we cannot spend too much time on each drawing. So I just, normally I just have a lot of drawing like this. And then my, my teacher said that your, your drawing is not finished. But the other kid got a kind of similar uh, finish level. But uh, my teacher said that his drawing is way feeling, way more feeling like a, a finished painting. Um, I didn't know why. I didn't know why. But uh, eventually I figured out the edges. So like everything's rough right now. If you just uh, make the edges let me create another layer. See, even all like still rough, I didn't even touch the inside yet, but I just have a cleaner edge. Overall, feels more like uh, achieve another finished level. So like this edge, the, uh, it has the, ho the horn has the bouncing light from the background. And then if I do this, they'll be like really uh, normal, not cool. So we need it. We try to do, let me zoom in. You can see clearly. We try to do like, clear, like a clean bouncing light line and a, a rough one. So they have like, um, contrast. Because I don't want to like be soft on one side, the other side is the same kind of soft. Soft. That's not, that's not cool. So you can see the stuff to here, stuff that they're, they're they're the same. So we try to avoid that.
like I said for this one, uh, we don't want to stop here and stop here. I lose the curve, I lose the smooth, uh, smooth of the curve. So just uh, go through. Of course, uh, another new layer, and then we erase that. Uh, and another thing I want to answer my, myself, my younger self, uh, about how to improve your, your uh, drawing designing skill. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys have the same problem. I've heard that a lot of people ha ha have that problem, but I, and I had that problem too. Like, uh, you always start a new drawing. Like when you start a new drawing in the beginning, you're so excited because you have a lot of ideas. Oh, I can do ocean stuff, or creatures, or even robots, that's cool. But after two or three hours, you're like, oh, it's kind of bored. And then I'm not gonna finish this. And then I don't feel any anything interesting anymore. So I just, uh, okay, throw that away. Um, pro uh, please don't do that. Try to force yourself to finish all the paintings, all the designs. For me, I think the only way to improve is uh, stay on one drawing, one design as long as possible. Um, because say like, every time you, you finish the drawing from hour zero to hour 40, and then you finish the drawing. But uh, it's like, of course, if you achieve a certain quantity, like uh, many, many drawings, you're gonna improve a little bit more. But every single time you just uh, go to, you just, you just achieve this level and done, achieve this level, done, right? Like just like a work, like a exercise, workout, right? Every time when you have a big improvement is like when you push yourself, like, oh, how about this time I do uh, 60 hours for this drawing, right? Next time I do like, 80 hours for this drawing because when you go when you always finish the drawing at uh, 40 hours but when you achieve to 60 hours you realize you probably meet some some new problems you never you never met before then you need a, a more knowledge more research and uh, uh, more effort to solve the problem at uh, hour 60 and then when you like got used to drawing 60 hours for each drawing, then you push yourself to 80 hours. So you always can do more. Like there's, technically, I think there's no like a finish point or like a, uh, the finish hour for uh, every single art, because I think you always can push more. Though when, when, when you start pushing more, that's the point where you learn new things, you improve yourself. That's why in our channel, I just just to try to do. I I brainwash myself to, uh, uh, do each drawing and each design like forever. Cause I'm I don't have a deadline, right? So I just do it forever. Oh, and also, sorry, I need to talk about more about the the time because when I was uh, drawing like, like uh, professional work, I always would draw uh, a week, like eight hours a day. So like 40 hours, like 40 hours a drawing from zero. Like when you start for first um, five hours, it's really, you feel really excited. And then uh, after five to 10, it's like a going downward, uh, the happiness I'm talking about. Uh, and then later on, you f uh, at the, uh, hour 15, you're like, 
uh, okay, there are some problems I don't want to fix, and I don't know how to fix. And uh, the, I, I, I also kind of like uh, scared of doing, like seeing it, because just saying like, oh, oh, this is my drawing, and uh, I'm really a proud of uh, like, sh oh, sorry, I'm really proud of showing this part. But but don't look at this part because I'm not starting that po that, that part yet, and I'm not. I'm kind of stuck. I'm not really sure what, what should I do on this part. So I'm kind of scared. So even some people, they crop that part as their art to show people. Uh, yeah, of course not. Don't do that. So at the hour 15, you're gonna uh, finish the, like, like a lot of things in, in the drawing, but you, you start realize some parts you hate, you, you kind of scared of, um, then you have to push yourself continue. When you go 25 hours uh, in the to 25 to uh, 30 hours, 25 to 30 hours, you're like, okay, uh, I fixed the problem and then everything's done, right? And uh, finally, I. I don't hate my drawing, but uh, I don't like my drawing either. So just a okay level. Uh, yeah, just to submit that, you know. We all been there. Um, uh, I've been there too, so many times. So at that point, no other ways. You just, you, you have to push yourself, go more. And then start from uh, 30, uh, 32, 33 hours you start liking your work again because you re realize that here and there the small part, uh, small missing part, you found out a small missing part to link all the content together. You find out your drawing and design is really unique and then start liking your work. And then at the end, 40 hours, it's like you're so exhausted because you, you, you don't think you can do more uh, for the design, for the drawing. So at that point, we normally just, you know, also the time's up, you just submit the work. But uh, for mine, for, for if you wanna like uh, improve more, of course, how about 40 is my, my entire strength. But how about we push more, we go 100, right? We wanna see something, I, I mean, for me, I wanna see something, I wanna see something I've never seen before. Right. Let's put it this way: whenever you want to quit, uh, like uh, uh, whenever you start a new drawing, and then after ten or fifteen, usually around ten hours. You like hate your drawing, and then you don't know how to continue. You really want to like throw that away. You don't want you don't want anyone to see that drawing, right? Um, continue, continue. Uh, push yourself. Don't give up. Just uh, try to convince yourself. What if that's the last drawing of your life, <laughs> right? That's like pretty scary. But just you know, kind of brainwash yourself.
Oh, sorry guys. Uh, there's some something wrong with the uh, camera. I run out of the battery. Uh, I was talking about uh, uh, finishing your drawing stuff. Uh, don't throw away your don't don't throw away your drawings. Uh, uh, I still remember when I was in, in uh, school back in school uh, in the school years, uh, in the school time. Me and my uh, classmates, we can finish a lot of uh, great designs, great, draw uh, uh, great drawings uh, during the school time. But uh, during the summer and uh, summer break or winter break, none of us can finish even one drawing because we do the same thing. We try to start a drawing, it's interesting, but uh, after eight or 10 hours, we, try we start hating our drawings. So we throw that away and start another one. We, we, we think another idea is going to be even better. So we start another one. And then after 10 hours, throw away another one, another one. But in the school time, uh, we didn't really have that much time to start a new one. So we have to force ourselves to finish the drawing we hate. But eventually, we turn that into really awesome drawing. That's where we kind of like got a, a lot of improvement yeah so like force yourself uh to finish every single bad drawings bad designs
uh, I'm doing that because all the, the on the horn, uh, all the textures is like this. So it's like when you have so many so so many lines like this, your vision gonna go like like that really fast. So we want to slow down a little bit, slow the vi uh, viewer's uh, vision a little bit. So we just give it like a horizontal line a little bit. to slow down the viewers I travel from bottom to the top.
So now I see the difference. Um, of course, it's not. Uh, there's a lot of things that I can push more, uh, but I'll wait for the end when we finish all the design. Because right now this finish level is cool, and the clear, uh, clearly you can see all the designs. Um, yeah, we'll wait for like only this part. I'm only talking about this part, not including a gum and mouth. Um, yeah, we're gonna wait wait for that uh, for the later part of the drawing and uh, yeah I think I think this is today's video and um, uh, please leave a comment below to let me know what you think and uh, also let me know um, what else you wanna you want you want me to talk about uh, experience wise or, or uh, knowledge wise okay all right thank you guys See you in the next one.